now to the race for the White House, kicking off a home stretch this Labor Day with both candidates hard at work in the key state of Ohio. ABC's Mary Bruce is on the trail in Cleveland with the latest. Good morning, Mary. Hi, George. Good morning. Well, no rest for Clinton and Trump today. With the election now just 64 days away, the candidates will be making competing pitches to voters here in the key state of Ohio as they enter the final fall stretch. This morning, as the candidates start their sprint to the finish, a first for Donald Trump. Trump visiting an African-American church in Detroit Saturday, swaying along and making a rare direct appeal. I fully understand that the African-American community has suffered from discrimination and that there are many wrongs that must still be made right. A softer tone from Trump after weeks of fiery pitches to almost all white crowds. I'm asking for the vote of every single African-American citizen. You're living in poverty. Your schools are no good. You have no jobs. What the hell do you have to lose? But no change in tone when it comes to Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton is the most dishonest candidate for president of the United States since Richard Nixon. Trump's running mate on the attack after the FBI released new documents on its investigation into Clinton's emails, showing Clinton told investigators she relied heavily on her staff to mark and handle classified information and that she did not know the letter C in emails stood for classified. Her running mate coming to her defense. These notes, which Hillary urged be made public, demonstrate clearly why the FBI saw no need for additional criminal proceedings. Clinton, meanwhile, has been noticeably quiet on the campaign trail as she makes a final summer dash for cash, fundraising with big donors and celebrities, and still largely ignoring the press. It's now been 275 days since her last full-blown press conference. Is this going to change? All the time, as Hillary's out on the trail, she's talking to the press, hundreds of interviews. I'm doing the same. The Labor Day to Election Day stretch, it's going to ramp up even more. Now, still no word on when Clinton will hold her next press conference, but she is giving reporters new access. When she lands here in Ohio later today, it will be on a new plane with her press corps now on board. George. All set for the home stretch. Mary Bruce, thanks very much.